don't remember what I was doing. All I remember is, uh, I don't have any ammo. Shit, what? <laughs> I'm looking for the button to get me back in here, shit. Uh... Put these two together. I don't even know how to herbs. Oh, come on, don't be a douche. Still doing that really weird lag thing or <laughs> repeats the sounds. I, I still don't even know what I should take, really. Like, I think in the next room I might need the, um, chemical. Yeah, there we go. Get that first key or whatever. Um, I'll leave the shotgun in there. You never know when you're gonna have to kill something big and mighty. Alrighty. I think that's all that's in this room. Let's keep going. Get that dip dodging skills to the maximum here. Oh, going to the menu. Oh, shit, wrong button. I'm gonna try to disequip this real quick. Maybe I'll run faster. I don't know. That's something to wish for, right? Oh, God. That was right into him. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. Okay, I can, get, I can get this guy. There we go. There's another one of these fuckers. Oh, man. That was fucking close. Okay. 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 <laughs> oh my fucking god, dude. I wish I... <laughs> what? He's still backing up. Maybe I should have a gun out just in case. But I think this is the room. That's the garden. Uh, with the chemical, I should be able to get the key. Okay, there it is. Man, it's been a while. Alrighty. Oh, danger. <laughs> that's great. But I only get put by like two zombies, I think. I think I was on yellow fine though, so I guess that kind of makes sense. Whatever, baby, give me the armor key. Probably the most important key in the game. Will you take the mansion key? Oh yes, I will, Jill. Oh shit, wrong button. <laughs> See, what's kind of useful is, I'm not sure if you, anyone knew this, but if you turn the key around, it'll actually uh, name the key for you. So now it's called the armor key instead of the, uh, uh fuck, I right? <laughs> mansion key. Oh, there you go. Oh, I know that room. Gotta go back there at some point. Alrighty, anything else in here? Maybe, maybe so, maybe not. Kind of wish there was uh, some fucking herbs in here. I think there is. Should be. Yeah, buddy. Uh. It's a fucking jack mine. There's even a red herb over there too. <laughs> Never know how much fucking herbs you'll need <laughs> with two bullets left in your gun. Uh, give me one of the red ones. There we go. These are basically like first aids. You know all about them herbs. Oh, oh, oh god. Will you combine the herbs? Yes, I will. You know how I do. <laughs> Mixing them herbs up. Oh shit. <laughs> yes, I will. Thank you. Oh man, it takes for fucking ever to do anything. I think I spend more time in the inventory than in running around from zombies. Will you can mix the fucking herbs? Yes, I will. Shit, I wonder how many times he's gonna ask me that. Alrighty, so. Should be good on zombies here for the first part. Maybe I can run past them quickly enough. One thing that uh, I decided to do lately, because I, I only watched up to uh, Resident Evil Extinction, I didn't watch anything past that. Oh shit, there we go, got past them. So, um, anyways, like I was saying, so I watched the first one again, being, you know, pretty critical about it. I just kind of wanted to see how it was. Um, looking at it, because like, I watched it back in like 2002, but you know, when you're real young and shit, you don't really remember shit. 
<laughs> so I decided to rewatch them just to kind of see how they are. And really, to be to be honest, like the first game, not the first game, the first movie, uh, I actually found really good. I mean, it wasn't quite what you were expecting, especially when um, you, you know you played all the Resident Evil games. You kind of expected uh, Jill to be the main character number one, but instead it was this Alice chick. But I mean, if if you look past that and you just try to look, you know, towards creativity, oh shit, I know this part. Anyways, creativity, this, <laughs> creativeness. <laughs> Anyways, you'll learn that um, you know, it's it's kind of a good story, kind of a good role. Um, there's one part that you know, oh shit, what's the a button? A button. Oh jeez, okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, uh, there's there's a couple parts that didn't really make sense, like the uh, the room with the lasers or whatever. Uh, like after they cut everything up, the, the diamond, you know, uh, lasers or whatever cut up the black guy. They still left the uh, the equipment to destroy the Red Queen in the room, like on the bottom. The guy just like walked up in there, picked it up. Like why why didn't that get cut up? The knife did. That you know when the guy swung up there or whatever. I don't know. So the knife got cut. Everyone's all cut up. The shit's not cut up. And I, I just don't really get that. Um, so the, but other than that, you know, the first one was really. People versus zombies. Um, the hive did exist in number one. It was just probably towards the end of the uh, the game was when you actually enter the hive. Um, if they spent more time in the mansion, or if there were zombies in the mansion, I think that would have probably made a better movie. Um, not really sure. Uh, I'll probably be talking about that throughout this uh, little let's play here. So let's get going. Keeper's Diary, May 9th, 1998. At night, we played poker with Scott and the guard, alias and Steve, the researcher. Steve was really lucky, but I think he was cheating. What a scumbag. May 10th, 1998. Today, a high-ranking researcher asked me to take care of a new monster. It looked like a gorilla without any skin. They told me to feed them live food. When I threw in a pig, they were playing with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out, or pulling out the guts before they actually ate it. May 11th, 1998. Around 5 o'clock this morning, Matt came in and woke me up suddenly. He was wearing a protection suit that looked like a spacesuit. He told me to put one on as well. I heard there was an accident in the basement lab. It's no wonder that researchers never rest, even at night. So, basically, the accident in the basement lab, that's that's what it's talking about. It's talking about the hive and uh, where they're doing the research uh, in the, the basement of the uh, mansion. So, uh, in that case, uh, the movies are pretty alike, but the, um, the antagonist, I should say, um, his goals are very different. In this, in this one, it's actually Wesker, and he's trying to um, make himself better. The accident was really just an accident. It wasn't um, a plan or whatever to destroy Umbrella or whatever it was in the uh, in number one. May 12, 1998. I've been wearing this annoying spacesuit since yesterday. My skin's growing musty, and I feel very itchy. By the way of revenge, I didn't feed those dogs today. Now I feel better. <laughs> Fuck those dogs, man. I don't, I don't want to feed those niggas. <laughs> May 13th, 1998. I went to the medical room. Oh, I don't know why I said room. I meant room. <laughs> because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on my back and they told the doctor... Er, and the doctor told me I did not need to wear the spacesuit anymore. I guess I can sleep well tonight. Actually, I think it's because you're infected, dumbass. May 14th, 1998. When I woke up this morning, I found another blister on my foot. It was annoying and I ended up dragging my foot as I went to the dog's bed. They've been quiet since morning, which is very unusual. I found that some of them have escaped. I'll be in real trouble if the higher ups ever find out. May 15th, 1998. Even though I didn't feel well, I decided to go and see Nancy. It's my first day off in a long time, but I was stopped by the guard on the way out. They say the company has ordered that no one leave the grounds. I can't even make a plane call. What kind of joke is this? Phone call. <laughs> Not plane call. May 16, 1998. I heard a researcher who tried to escape from this mansion was shot last night. My entire body feels burning and itchy all at night. When I was scratching the swelling on my arm, a lump of rotten flesh jumped, dropped off. What the hell's happening to me? May 19, 1998. 1998. Fever gone but itchy. Hungry and eating doggy food. Itchy, itchy Scott came. Ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. Four, itchy, tasty. <laughs> Itchy, itchy, tasty. I'm surprised he was still writing after that shit, man. He was like, <laughs> he was like, itchy, itchy, tasty. And he like walked over here in the closet. He's like, yeah, I'm just gonna chill here. Oh, that's that's some unfortunate shit right there. Okay, so um, only likely thing to do is uh, shoot two bullets. <laughs> okay, that should have done it. 
Sometimes you gotta live on the dangerous side. Take some chances. Might need those two bullets. Might need these shotgun shells too, though. So I'll definitely rather have those than two bullets of um, handgun ammo. Alright, looks like uh, it was just a diary and uh, some bullets. Nothing too special in here. <clears throat> Alright, but back to the Resident Evil movies. Uh, I believe that, like after I said, the first one was okay. The second one should have started out definitely in Raccoon City. Like, I, don't, I completely don't understand it. I, sorry, it was in Raccoon City, but the way it started was weird. It should have been uh, Claire. Holy shit, I'm back here. Anyway, anyways, it should have been Claire coming back from the. Uh, I don't even know I'm searching over here. I'm just talking. <laughs> uh, it should have been Claire coming back in from wherever the fuck she comes from, just to tell, uh, just to, you know, to find her brother Chris. Uh, but Claire didn't even show up till the uh, extinction, which I, I found weird. I. Maybe that's just me. But uh, it, it definitely should have started out with that and, you know, Leon and the police station and the punching guy. But, like, none of that happened. I, I don't even know what anyone was thinking, like, when they when they thought about it. They're like, we'll, we'll just have Alice come out of the, the hospital, just like uh, Dawn of the Dead or uh, Day of the Dead, one of those. Like, uh, Walking Dead's done it, too. Like, it, it's, it's kind of ridiculous. Fucking, I can't carry shit. <laughs> I'm carrying too much first aid with me. Um, so, you know, I, I guess that's kind of, um, everything starts, always starts out like that. I, I guess, you know, it's like you walk out of the hospital and you find out the dead are controlling everything. Maybe it's just terrifying. I don't fucking know. So, I, the way it started out, like I said, it, it could have been a lot better. Gotta figure out where the fuck I am again. Let me, let me, I'm just, I'm just gonna shoot this zombie real quick on the side, uh, hopefully get in there. I'll just blow his dick off, I guess. Okay, come here, buddy. Come to Papa. Anyways. So, in the second one, introduced the Nemesis, which I think was the major flaw of the movie. Um, especially when... Oh, shit, it's only here. Uh, especially when the Nemesis shouldn't have even been around at that point. Um, the goal of the Nemesis was a lot different as well. Uh, in the movies... The goal of the nemesis was more or less to um to just test Alice, uh, see if their experiments have been working, how well they've been working, um, just you know stupid stuff like that. But in the movie, or sorry, in the game, the actual purpose of the nemesis was to kill all the stars members that came down from the mansion that knew of Umbrella's plot. So honestly, I mean, why would you change the the role of one of the the major uh, boss battles in the game, like, it, it, I mean, it tortured me as kids, like, all of a sudden, you're, uh, you walk through a room, you're like, you know, look at these zombies, they can't go through these rooms, you know, you're like, oh shit, dude, look at this big ass boss, you fucking storm through the room, you're sitting there for a little bit, and then, boom, all of a sudden, you fucking bust through that shit, and he's on your ass like gravy, oh shit, like that, but anyway, uh, god damn it, <laughs> I keep forgetting which side they're on, okay, so, I, I don't know. So, the second one, like I said, was pretty good. A lot of people would agree. Um, the very ending fight with Alice and the Nemesis, I believe, should have been a lot bigger. Uh, they used a lot of frenetic edi uh, editing. Didn't really look good. Uh, you know, I don't know. I just kind of wanted more. You know, it's just like two epic characters should have had a big-ass epic fight, but they ended up not. So, that was pretty disappointing in that fact. Let's see. Do I have a shotgun in here? I know I have a shotgun in here. It's just fucking something. There it is. Put that next to the bullets right quick Let's see here so what can I open with that okay I'm gonna open up that right door with the key I think uh, I think that's an armor key I'm not quite sure uh, do, do, do left side there we go and fuck you too and thank you anyways yeah, so, like, but when Extinction came, like, I, that's where I really didn't get, especially the end of Apopoly, uh, Apocalypse. <laughs> it's always a hard word for me to say. Oh, hey, look, here's the broken shotgun that you'd use for Chris to get this shotgun. Will you use the lockpick? No, I won't. Why would I use a lockpick? I fucking hate that shit. That'll definitely help. <laughs> I'm always, I'm always happy to get some more ammo. 
see broken shotgun, some clips here real quick. Let's see, I, I probably put the the acid rounds away or something. Use those for later. I think explosive rounds are the uh, worst rounds, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe it was the flame. I think flame, then explosive, then acid. But either way, man, those acid shots, man, they'll fuck your dreams. Might as well just leave those guys there. They disappear when the hunters come out anyways. Uh, the very end of Apocalypse, though, what I, what I was saying anyways before I stopped talking about it was, um, she woke up, like, dead. Well, not <laughs> God, you don't wake up dead, but basically, um, she came in, she was already dead or whatever. I'm gonna switch shells, extra shell, I don't give a shit. So, she was already dead, they revived her, and then they turned her into some kind of, like, machine or some shit? I don't, I don't even fucking know, but then, like, at the end, they just let her go. Uh, though it was a pretty sick scene when she almost, like when she was killing everyone in the lab though. I do think that was pretty sick. The very beginning of Extinction, she's not even there. Like I, I don't even know what they're trying <clears throat> try to to accomplish. Um, they they really got, uh, got away from their main goal of like people versus the survival of zombies. Instead, it was more or less. Um, fuck, what was that one? I was playing the piano. I think it was the center. Um, they they made it more like. People versus Umbrella in the third one. Uh, like the entire time, they're not really worrying about zombies. They're worrying about Umbrella trying to kill them the entire time. And that I don't really think is more or less like the game. I, I mean, Umbrella is trying to cover their steps along the way, and maybe in number five it was more like them against Umbrella. But then again, you know, I don't know. Like, I, like I think it should have stayed more survival horror. Uh, people versus zombies than trying to say like they're trying to domesticate zombies they finally introduce Wesker at the very end of a or near the middle of extinction that should have been at the very beginning of number one because he was one of the main characters in Resident Evil uh, there's, there's a lot of disappointments in the movie and I think as the movies went on they actually started to get a lot worse um, especially like like afterlife I, I don't even know what the fuck's going on anymore like holy shit <laughs> and then like at the very end of uh the very last one, I think it's called Retribution or something like that. Like, this, like I don't even feel like that. I'm watching a Resident Evil movie anymore. Like, this bitch is floating. She, she like, our powers taken away and then powers given back. Uh, Wesker and her are now working together, I guess, to, to kill the Red Queen. Which I don't even understand because, in number one, the Red Queen only killed all those people not because she was a homicidal bitch, but because she needed to, um... Um... What's, what's the word for it? She, she was trying to preserve human life by killing a few to save millions. But near the end of Retribution, it's saying that she's now eliminating the human race, but like her entire programming is to ensure human survival. So I, I'm not really sure along the lines of which that changed, but I don't know. I did think the movies, number one and two, were probably my favorite, especially the uh, ending. To number two, like the, uh, what's it called, the uh, credits. <laughs> You're like, the credits and all the credits song. I think it's called, um, The End of Heartache by Kill Switch Engage. That's it. Pretty sick. Finally making some progress, though, here. <laughs> and I was just walking through fucking doors randomly. I don't even know where I am or what I'm supposed to be doing. Though, I do know that. I get this golden crest, though I forgot what it goes to, but I might as well pick it up now. What the fuck does... May, no, what, oh, I know what I do. I put this where the other one was, and then I get a key or something like that. I might as well pick up the, um, the jewel, the red-blue jewel, I think it is, that's on the ground, and I'll put that in the tiger's eye real quick as well. Create a list of shit to do. I could be like, it's on my to-do list. Damn it. Walls are like molasses, man. Fucking sticking every single one of them. Alrighty. So let's just go in this main room real quick. Switch them up. Grab the, uh, the blue gem. And we can get up out of here. Molasses walls. 
Why are you so sticky? I know it's, <laughs> I know it's a eating hall, but man, fucking syrup everywhere. Okay, this should be blue jewel. There it is. Man, I, don't, I was completely guessing on that too. I wasn't sure if it was red or blue, but decided just to boom come in as one, you know. <laughs> Not coming as one, I just came up right. <laughs> yeah, man, it just came up blue. Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, man, I forgot what kind of key this was. I think it only opens one door, if I'm not completely mistaken. Helmet key? No, shield key. I, I really don't remember where the shield... Maybe it opens the snake room. Or something. Oh fuck no, whatever. Let's get back in this main room. Try to find all the doors that are locked with the armor key real quick. Or maybe the shield I don't know. No, maybe the shield opens two doors, I think. I think it opens this blue one over here. Fuck, I don't remember. Nope, armor key. Oh, well, let's check it out in here. I think there's a couple herbs. Not that I'm going to need any, but I'll pick them up anyways, just in case I need them later. I know there's a couple zombies in here, though. But definitely some ammo, in which I really do need, so... Anything's worse to get the ammo. Sweet. I think this is the most ammo I've had all game. <laughs> 30 bullets. Okay. Um, there you are, you bastard. Oh. Oh. You can't fool me. Oh. Now you're dead. So many bullets that took. Oh, not as much as the rest of them. Problem with zombies is they take like a hundred fucking bullets. Various things. Uh, I wonder if it's bullets. Please be bullets. Ha! <laughs> Shotgun bullets, that's what's up. I have to just put away my pistol start using my shotgun, right? Just boom. It's a one-shot headshot every time. <laughs> yeah, right. Like the crawler's gonna get me. <laughs> He's a crawler. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, well, if there's... Hopefully there's something else other in here than other than herbs, because, I mean, nothing major, nothing major. Uh, apparently there's an ink ribbon, I don't know why. You're like, why'd you pick it up? You know, you don't have any space, you know it's an ink ribbon. Well, do you want, I want to make sure it was an ink ribbon. Exactly. You don't know me, you don't know my life. God damn it. I think that's the costume room, too. Yeah, you just, uh, you just keep doing your thing. I don't know how you got in there. Obviously, he was changing into his, uh, green and shirt and brown pants, I guess? I don't know. Died. <clears throat> I really do like the music of this game, though. It kind of really draws you in. Let's see. I mean, I can't, for the life of me, I just can't remember everywhere I have to go. It's been just so long. Uh, I think there might have been a couple rooms over here to the right that needed an armor key or a shield key. I have both. Might as well check. At least everything's dead, so I don't have to run into all the zombies anymore. Armor key. Okay, let's see what's up in here. Hopefully it's E aim. E. Hopefully, yeah. Hey, look, it's the snake room. Oh, I don't want to do this yet. Well, that was fucking weird. Anyways, let's see what else we got here. Shield key, maybe? Armor key. I might just have to go around and unlock all the doors real quick just so I can get rid of the the keys, because I, I think that this gives you 
one of the crests that you need um, later in the game to open the outside up. You need the, the crests. And, uh, I just don't have any room on me right now, so that won't really help. What's this room? This might be upstairs, I think. Maybe. Yes. I am right. Armor key. Still not? Wow. How many fucking doors use the armor key? It's like the biggest key in the game. Uh, I think this is the second snake room. But who knows, right? Okay, so I need the lighter to light this up to get the match. Yeah, I didn't think I had a lighter. Um, this door locked. Helmet. Okay. Well, that was entertaining. At least, uh, I know of two, three herbs that I can pick up anytime. Downstairs, this is a uh, save room, so I'm going to take a trip down there real quick. Drop off some ammo. Might be two or three rooms down here, too, that also use a armor key. Obviously, is isn't told me to discard it yet, so... Oh, I guess I'll put away the bazooka. Shit. I really wish you could combine shit in your inventory. Without having to go all the way down here and doing this shit. A little bit of organizing. You know how I do. Take my blue jewel back. Hmm. Yeah, that seems just about right. Okay. Let's, uh... Should I save? Nah, I'll make this an extra large, long part. I don't even give a shit. Make up for all the times I'm not playing. Might as well keep going, right? Seems like as I run the game, too, the emulator actually just keeps running it better and better. Like, uh, the doors aren't freezing as much. I noticed it's not freezing as much in my inventory. It's like, just... Keep it throttled. There's a zombie in here? That's almost hard to believe. Unless I ran around them. Where the fuck am I? Need to be going. I don't know. I'm gonna, uh, I don't know. Fuck it. Yellow, check this way. Okay, did I come through this door or this door? Let's try it. It's locked. Carving of a helmet? Fucking piece of shit. You, you can't see him? Winston Churchill could see that shit. He's old as a motherfucker. You know, full me, nigga. No shit, I've already been in here. Maybe this is the... Bird room. Okay, cool. What's up, birdies? Don't, don't fuck with me, please. You know... Oh shit. Uh. Uh. This one looks like a newborn baby. Yeah. There's a switch below. Push it. Alright, so you just want to do it in the order of generation. So, uh, make sure you don't, you like, tired middle-aged man? Yeah, you don't go from newborn to that, so you don't want to do it. Otherwise, all these pros go crazy. Real, real sour time too. They, they peck at your dreams. No, I think I'm good. Maybe it's this one. Infant. That sounds about right. There should be like a kid somewhere. Picture of a lively boy. That sounds about right. What? This one's probably like death or something. Bold looking old man. <laughs> He's bold, but he's gone where no man's ever gone before. Uh, this one's middle-aged man, I think. Young man, that sounds right. Then I'm gonna go with middle-aged man.
Boom. And I'm gonna go with an uh, old man or whatever. And then hopefully this whole stupid thing will be done. And I think it gives you a crest or something. Pushing buttons all day long. The end of life. After you old, you die. Okay, there we go. Looks like I got it right. Got one of the pendants. That music's pretty epic. I almost forgot about it. It's like right after you get that, it just turns sick. Really immersive. So I think it's only for that room, though. It's kind of interesting how it only does it for that room and cuts off. This must be outside where you place the pendants. Uh, place it real quick. Fuck it, sure. Waste a little time. Open up a little bit of inventory without going all the way back to. Oh shit! Sorry, dogs scare the shit out of me. They run and. Gee, look at that shit! Did you not see me shoot the fucker? Down, no, pooch! Wow, that is... Okay, I get it. Please skip... Oh, shit. Oh, no, my... No! I forget in this game, you can't just click on it like in Devil May Cry or whatever. If you have the item, you just click on it and it automatically just says use it. But, of course, in this, you know, you have to go into your inventory every every effing time and click use. Okay, well, Fido's Don. <laughs> Gone. So... Huh, what next? I think I have that blue jewel, so I think that might give me part of a pendant, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember this room. Okay, could have sworn that there was also uh, something locked on over here. Uh, I think it might just have herbs or something. Well, I'll check it out. That's a bathroom. This is a locked door, I think. Yeah, I unlocked all the doors finally. I have no idea what takes a helmet key, though. Oh shit, that door took forever. What's up, Fido? I see you over there lurking. Run, motherfucker, run, motherfucker, run! Take that, Fido. How do you like that? You just wait till they growl and you shoot them out right the mouth. Oh shit! Huh, so lots of herbs, no bullets though. Holy shit! <laughs> oh wow, I did not expect that one. Fido came out of nowhere. <laughs> Way to scare the shit out of a person, fuck. <clears throat> okay, so now put the blue jewel in the, the thing and try to figure out where the shield keys are. Through the blue door, I think. Um. Whoa, the emulator starts freaking out there. Uh, hopefully I have enough bullets to last here. The sad thing is, is I just really haven't seen too many bullets, really. To keep me on my toes. Have to start, oh. I'll try to use the pistol until the hunters come out, and then I'll start using my shotgun. Those hunters, man, they, they rape your dreams. Endlessly. Um, can't remember if I just unlocked this door and kept going. If I actually went in here, I definitely didn't go in here. Whoa! 
I hope I pushed it the right way. It appears to be a switch. Will you push it? No, I don't like pushing random switches. <laughs> Look on her face. What? This can't be happening. Fuck, I... I uh, what do I do? Researchers will. My dear Alma, the fact that you have already received this letter is both a joy and a sadness for me. I could not even talk to you because of the guy in the sunglasses. Alma, be calm and read this. <clears throat> I think I've already told you that I've moved to the pharmaceutical company. Lab, or pharmaceutical company's lab. They haunted me. Headhunted me. <laughs> Headhunter. Okay. Anyway, uh, last month there was an accident in the lab and the virus we were studying escaped. All my colleagues were infected by the virus and are dead. To be accurate, they've become the living dead. They still wander around. Some of them are knocking on my room door desperately right now. But there's no sign of intelligence in their eyes. That cursed virus takes away all humanity from the human brain. Love, joy, sorrow, fear, human or humor eternally. And Alma, even the memories of the days I've spent with you. Yes, I'm infected. I did everything I could, but I could only delay the progress by a few days. The most frightening thing is that I forget more and more about you every day. So I chose a peaceful death, rather than becoming the living dead. Within an hour, I will have entered my eternal sleep. I do hope that you'll understand my decision. Goodbye and forever yours, Martin Crackhorn. Crackhorn. <laughs> oh, what a funny name. Okay, hopefully push this way. Nope, I was wrong. Hello. <laughs> Fucking piece of shit. So glad that when you do this shit, you don't have to like redo it. I don't know why you would, but open the door. Thank you. Okay, so I gotta move this shit this way apparently. So I can maybe move this shit this way. Nope, so I can move it the other way. There we go. <laughs> really? I thought I was getting something better. Oh well. Worth it, right? Every bullet's worth it. Especially the boss at the very end of this game, oh my god. Hey, lighter. Seems I can light that and get a map, which is always nice. Some bullets, hopefully. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This person was loaded, man, just kept their clips everywhere. Don't give a fuck. Always grab the red herbs, though. Help your dreams. Alrighty, Let's see what we got going on through the other doors of magic. Ass. Actually, I thought this was a different room. I thought this was the room with an elk in it or something like that, and you grab the uh, the red jewel and you put that inside the tiger as well. But it turned out it wasn't. I'm gonna drop off the explosive ammo real quick and then head back upstairs. Might call it the end of this part too. We'll see. I think I've been going for a strong, I don't know, I'm just going to guess 25 minutes or so. Could be way off, but YOLO. Um, bazooka. Anyone know where I put my, uh, where the fuck is that shit? My acid rounds. There they are. But, um, I guess I'll put the green herb in there for now. Got a lot of mixed herbs, so not too big of a deal. Shotgun shells, 21 shells, 28 rounds. All right, doing pretty good. Well, we got two ink ribbons left. Hopefully, find some more. Uh, I do know where some are, just in case I run out of saves, though. So that's always a good thing. Uh, so next part, I'll be going back upstairs, uh, completing a couple of puzzles, getting a couple more of those, um, <clears throat> I don't know what you call them, emblems or whatever, so then I can go outside and finally progress through the game. 
So I will see you guys next time. And peace out.